So this week, I affirm that I woke up in my highest timeline and that I was so thankful and grateful for doing so. I'm gonna stand in the sun for a little bit because I need to warm up. It is cold in that place. I just came from yoga class. Yes, so I can't even see myself, but that's okay. Um, I <laughs> was just drawn to, um, I saw a video. I saw a video, a quick video, and this woman was saying, try for three days, go to sleep, and affirm that you're gonna wake up in your highest timeline. And when you wake up, be grateful that you woke up in your highest timeline and affirm it again. And I did that. It is Thursday. I started on, I believe I started on Monday, Mon Sunday night. And I met a woman and nobody's gonna tell me any different. This woman is an angel. She was God sent. The universe sent this woman to align with me, for us to align together, because I'm gonna backtrack a bit. When I joined the, this gym here, that was a big decision for me. It started with me wanting to um, strengthen my upper body, and that led to me knowing that um, I, I have to be active. I am 38 years old. I am not, I'm just, I'm not old, years old. I am 38 in human time. And um, I am not aging backwards realistically. Physically, it may look like it, but I know that there are things happening within me that are not, um, going to be conducive to my overall well-being and I am always about my overall well-being mentally physically spiritually and emotionally <clears throat> and that comes along with me being more physical because number one I am not in New York anymore and I cannot just walk wherever I want to walk I mean I have free will I can do that but it is hot and it will take me hours to get to where I need to get to and I'm on, I'm now mobile via a motorbike or a car. And you know how that go. I mean, if you're from the South in America, I don't need to say anymore. So I have to, I have to get more physical. And me wanting to increase my upper body strength, it had allowed me to start at home first and foremost and be committed to that choice for myself at home and then but that sped up so quickly because when you start choosing yourself everything else starts choosing you too and me choosing myself just showed that right now I'm high oh my god <laughs> shit bear with me so yes so that happened and oh, I'm gonna sit down so um I Yes, okay, so I think maybe two or three weeks, probably three weeks, three weeks into my, me doing my strength exercises at home and some yoga, um, being consistent and changing my, my daily routine while incorporating that, um, a lot just happened. Like all I can say is a lot happened. Like once you make one choice, like I said, everything else starts choosing you as well. So I started cooking for myself more um, and making better choices and cooking for myself. And yes, and um, I joined a gym. Now I initially joined a gym, uh, I stated this before, because for the benefits of the steam room, because my skin is, uh, <laughs> this dry heat my skin we have issues we have issues 
so I joined for more so for the steam room and for me to um, find more ways for me to be more physical while also having fun and yoga is fun for me yes but I also wanted some more options and this gym has the options such as Zumba, step class, um, Pilates, which I actually enjoy and I'm going to continue and etc. So um, I also uh, came across a video and someone was saying, you know, if you've been intuitively guided to participate in something, do something that's not really in your normal activities, um, it seems out of place, do it. As long as it's safe, of course, but do it. And when, when, she, said, when she said that, it resonated, but I was just like, ah, uh, you know, like, I'm sure eventually um, it'll make sense. And because everything doesn't make sense in the beginning, you could just feel the resonance. And I'm trying to make this quick because I have to go, but I, this is on my heart, so I have to speak on it. Uh, and um, then I saw another video of this young lady, and she was saying um, the the choice that you make that is out of it may seem out of alignment. For what you usually do but for some reason you still feel pulled to it um, it's a step towards your soul family it's a step towards the, the path that you say that you want to be on and that resonated even more and I was like okay and you know the universe will give you subtle even loud hints that you're in the right place. You're in the right time. You're on the right path. And since I joined the gym, I've been getting those intuitive hits, those subtle hits um, that I am on the right path and I'm in the right place when I do come here. Um, but today, <laughs> today when I was driving, I literally, like, in one moment's time, I saw 8111. And yeah, I saw 8111. And then and this was a car in front of me. And then a, a motorbike went in front of me and it said 1118. And I was like, yeah, like, I don't need any more. I don't need anything else. I know that this is the time. This is the moment. This is it. I woke up at 3.33 this morning. Yesterday, I woke up at 4.44 this, um, in the morning. I'm just, yo, I am in awe. I am in awe of the universe's love. And so, anyway, I get here, and I'm sitting, and I'm waiting for my class to start, and this black, beautiful, locked woman comes in, and she's like, hello. And I'm like, hello. And I can't remember everything we spoke on, all I know is one thing led to another and we exchanged information and as she was talking she was saying things that I was just thinking before coming I was she said I was saying things that she was just thinking I said something about parallel universe and she kissed my hands she says nobody understands that and I feel the same way it was things that I didn't even have to say there were things that I, she didn't have to say because we, we understood each other on a soul level we both started tearing at different times 
but we tear because to be understood on a soul level if you know you know and I have been so misunderstood and I've gotten used to being misunderstood and even though I have gotten used to it I shouldn't have to get used to being misunderstood but sometimes you have to get used to certain things and tired of it so that you can move to another create another reality because being misunderstood and having to explain your soul and uh, just not being around the right people mm, it will it, it, it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot and yo, she left me with this is how it is when you when you meet angels when angels link up and I'm questioning that shit I'm not questioning it she's a fucking angel first of all the woman is in her 60s she look my age her skin look better than mine she is she's in the gym I met her in the gym and she was just confirmation that the choice that I made and why I made it so that when I do reach that age bracket I don't have to focus so much on my health because I'm making it my, my health is a lifestyle now it's a priority and she she actually weighed like certain things happened to her physically to get her to make her health a lifestyle and I'm doing that now and she's she's old enough to be my mother wait like, I just realized that I think she's actually the same age as my mother on some real shit. And if you see my mother, um, that woman don't, yo. Anyway, so I also actually, I also uh, for a while now, since I've realized that I was the black sheep and well, I've not realized, I accepted that I was the black sheep and I was mistreated because I was just resonated on a different frequency than my family my family was completely comic <laughs> and dark and um I, I always wanted to know since then like what kind of person would I be if I was accepted and loved within my family dynamic and she is the embodiment of that. She spoke about her family in such a loving way. And I was like, wow, like, she's she's like a seer. She's a psychic. She's a psychotherapist. She's a fucking, yo, this woman is out of this world, literally. And, but can still be here. Yo, I, <laughs> I have been blessed. I kept telling her, I am honored to be in your presence. I am honored to have met you. Just, I am honored and privileged. And I forgot what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm in awe. I'm in awe. I'm in awe. And I've been telling the universe, show me what you made of. Like, put, make me speechless. And the universe made me speechless. The universe never disappoints. No. Um, but yeah, she's the embodiment of a, a similar individual that was loved on and I'm the polar opposite wasn't loved on properly and the lifestyle that she's living that's she's she's living proof that why like the parallel universe of where I'm trying to meet period I'm done deuces yo